Bristol has officially taken over as European Green Capital. The title was formally handed over this afternoon at a ceremony in Copenhagen. Our political editor, Paul Boltrop, was there and sent us this report from Denmark. Rush hour, Copenhagen style. The most popular way to get to work or school, cycling. That's been boosted by its year as European Green Capital. One who's impressed is Bristol Mayor George Ferguson. His delegation includes students, amazed at how differently the Danes do it. I've got an <coughs> electric bike, but it's not like this. I was really amazed by um, so many people cycling, because there was like bikes everywhere. It's very green. I, I think it's great. It's, um, it's like 50% of the population, I think I heard, was um, cycling, and I think that's great. I mean, you see people cycling everywhere. It's absolutely tremendous. Uh, they've got energy systems that are much more efficient. They are aiming to become a carbon zero city. And uh, I think we all can learn from that. Welcoming him to Copenhagen, the city's environment mayor. Hi, George. Welcome <laughs> to Copenhagen. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's right. good to see you here. It's not just been about bikes. They've also boosted production of renewable energy. In the hall, a procession of speakers talked of the past year's achievements and the expectations for 2015. I think this is the moment that um, Copenhagen possibly is not looking forward to. Then the title was formally passed to Bristol. So Copenhagen is no longer European green capital. Tonight the handover is being marked with an official dinner. For the Bristol team, it's a chance to celebrate before they head home to prepare for a big launch event in January. Paul Bartrop, BBC Points West, Copenhagen.